So this company, Built-Right, makes these awesome metal panels they call tech panels. They allow for mounting of pretty much whatever you want. On their website, they advertise this one, this 10 by 7.5 inch tech panel, as perfectly fitting under the center console lid of an F-150. So let's give it a shot. So I'm going to go to my truck and remove this piece underneath the lid for the center console. It just pops off. It's got three clips on either side. And I'm going to use this pry removal tool to get in there and get a little bit closer to those clips so I've got less chance of breaking them when they, when they pop out. At the top you do have a couple little tabs that you have to push in for the latching mechanism. Once you get one side done then you can just pop the whole thing off without having to worry about the other side too much. It just seems to pop off pretty easily at this point, and I can get it inside and to my workbench to get this tech plate installed. And then here's a look at the underside of that console lid without the plastic piece in place. You can see where the six clips attach, and then on the underside of that plastic piece here are those six clips. So you can kind of see where they're at and what you're dealing with. This tech plate's been sitting in its packaging for months in my garage, and I'm so excited to finally be able to get it installed. This is just their smallest universal tech plate. It's 10 inches by 7 and half inches, and it fits perfectly right in here. You could probably mount it either vertically or horizontally. I'm probably going to go horizontally. That's what they did, and I think that's what I like best. So just kind of get it wherever you think looks best, get it lined up and centered, and then use some kind of tool to mark where you're going to drill. I'm going to use a knife, but any tool, like a center pinch or something, will do just fine. So to drill these holes, you're going to use a quarter inch drill bit that's just big enough for the machine screws they give you. It's very thin plastic, so it doesn't take very much. Just be careful of what's underneath this plastic piece when you do your drilling so that you don't mess up your workbench. I was able to clean up these holes pretty well with just the drill, but if you had leave little burrs or anything, just take a small file and run it through there and clean it up and make nice clean holes. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's going to be covered up anyway. This is one of their small hardware kits that they sell. It's got some red anodized CNC aluminum pieces, as well as some stainless steel machine screws, washers, and nylon lock nuts. So it's a pretty good kit. Now this hardware kit comes with more hardware than I actually need for this install. So I've got these little containers that go in a small parts container that I got from Harbor Freight. And I'm just going to put these pieces in there so that I can store them for later and hopefully build a collection of these for future installs. Future installs sounds like a good idea. Why don't you guys leave me some suggestions of what I should do with Built Right products in the future in the comment section down below. While you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notifications when I publish new videos. For this install, I'm going to need four machine screws, four washers, four lock nuts, four of the red washers, and four of the red standoffs. I'm going to use the longer standoffs here. These red washers are specially designed to mate with these flathead machine screws so that they hold very tightly against these tech panels. Also, they look really good. With those quarter inch holes we drilled earlier being slightly oversized, and then these slots in the tech panel, we have a lot of room to just fine tune the placement once we get it installed. I got the lower two on, and then I'm just going to mark the position for the upper two with the tech panel on there, and then I'm just going one by one and tightening these lock nuts on there by hand, and then I'll come back and tighten them fully later. Now I can drill the last hole, and then I can just put that hardware in, and I will fine tune its position before I tighten it up.
I was a little hesitant to use a drill driver or even a, an electric wrench here. I wasn't so much worried about the metal, I was worried about this plastic piece deforming. So I grabbed a ratcheting wrench and a screwdriver and I'm tightening up that way. It worked really well. One last check to make any small adjustments and then I'm going to tighten these screws down. I have to say, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with the way it turned out. So here's just a quick look at the front and then at the back. You can see that the machine screws don't stick out further than those plastic pegs, and it should clear no problem. Here's also a look at the metal standoffs. I use the longer ones. Looks really good. I'm really happy with the way this looks. It, it's really nice. One thing that I did notice is these CNC washers are a lot better than I thought. I thought they were like a crush washer, but they're actually solid aluminum. Reinstalling the piece into the center console is super easy. You don't have to trim the machine screws, just put it up there and it pops right back in place. There's considerably more weight on the lid now with this tech panel here, and if you put a lot of heavy stuff on it, it doesn't like to stay open on its own. Even once you fully open it, it will fall closed. Just keep that in mind. Right now what I've got on there is a cat tourniquet and a set of Leatherman Raptors, but I've also got plenty of extra room in the middle for some, let's say, Second Amendment accessories. Alright guys, well that's the install all finished and it looks great. I would really like to do more videos with the Built Right products. If that's something you would be interested in, let me know in the comments section down below and I'll see what I can do. But until then guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button and if you want to see more like this, hit that subscribe button. And like I said, if you want to see more videos with Built Right, make sure you leave that in the comment section down below. Thanks guys.